The spaceship Endeavor descended smoothly through the atmosphere of Zogtar, its sleek silver hull reflecting the alien sun. Jake Lawson, an Australian food scientist with a penchant for adventure, stood at the viewport, marveling at the vibrant, sprawling metropolis below. Towering structures made of iridescent materials shimmered in hues of blue and green, while strange, bioluminescent flora dotted the landscape. This was Zogtar, a planet known for its technological prowess but bland culinary culture. Jake adjusted his chef's jacket, emblazoned with the emblem of Earth's Culinary Federation. Today, he wasn't just a scientist, he was an ambassador of human cuisine. His mission, to introduce the Zotarians to the bold flavors of Earth, a task that had never been more crucial for fostering interstellar relations. As the endeavor touched down, Jake was greeted by a crowd of curious Zogtarians. They were humanoid but taller, with pale, almost translucent skin and large, expressive eyes. At the forefront stood Ambassador Exiler, a dignified figure with an air of authority. His robes, adorned with intricate designs, signified his high rank. Welcome, Jake Lawson, Siler said, his voice resonating with a melodic timbre. We are honored by your visit and eager to experience Earth's culinary creations. Jake smiled, extending his hand in the traditional human gesture. Xyler hesitated, but then reciprocated, albeit awkwardly. Thank you, Ambassador Exiler. It's a privilege to be here. I hope our food can bridge the gap between our worlds. Siler led Jake and his team through the bustling capital to the Grand Dining Hall, a marvel of Zotarian architecture with its soaring ceilings and shimmering walls. The hall was already set for the first meal, an event that would be broadcast live across the galaxy. Jake felt the weight of his responsibility, but also a thrill of excitement. The dining hall buzzed with activity as Zotarian dignitaries took their seats. Jake's team worked meticulously, presenting a spread of Earth's diverse cuisine, everything from savory Italian pastas to spicy Indian curries. The aromas filled the hall, drawing murmurs of curiosity from the Zotarians. Xyler sampled a piece of lasagna, his face a mask of concentration. Jake watched, heart pounding, as the ambassador's expression remained impassive. It's interesting, Xyler finally said, his tone diplomatic but unenthusiastic. The other Zotarians murmured in agreement, their reactions polite but lukewarm. Jake's mind raced. He needed something more, something that would leave a lasting impression. As the meal continued, an idea sparked. He would introduce the Zotarians to the one thing that defined intense human flavor, hot sauce. After the meal, Jake approached Eiler. Ambassador, may I propose another tasting? Something more intense? Xyler raised an eyebrow. Intense? In what way? Jake grinned. Spicy, we humans have a condiment called hot sauce. It's quite powerful. Siler's eyes widened slightly. Powerful, you say? Very well, Mr. Lawson. We shall organize a tasting. But be warned, our palates are not accustomed to extreme sensations. The announcement of the hot sauce tasting spread quickly turning the upcoming event into a major spectacle. The Zotarian High Council decided it would be broadcast live, adding to the pressure. Jake and his team set to work, creating a variety of hot sauces with escalating levels of heat, from mild to the aptly named Dragon's Breath. The day of the tasting arrived, and the dining hall was filled with an even larger crowd. The air was thick with anticipation. Jake presented the first sauce, a mild blend to Exiler, the ambassador tasted it cautiously, his expression neutral. This is is. Intriguing, Exiler admitted. A new sensation, but manageable. As the tasting progressed, the heat levels increased and the reactions became more animated. Some Zotarians coughed, others laughed, but all were intrigued. Finally, it was time for Dragon's Breath. Xyler, displaying unexpected bravery, volunteered to taste it. Jake watched with bated breath as Exiler dipped a piece of bread into the sauce and took a bite. The ambassador's eyes widened, and for a moment, it seemed he might reject it. But then, to Jake's relief, a smile spread across Eiler's face. Remarkable, such intensity and flavor. This is unlike anything we have ever experienced. The hall erupted in cheers and applause. Jake felt a wave of relief and triumph. They had done it.
The hot sauce had not only impressed but had begun to bridge the cultural gap between their worlds. As the event concluded, Exer approached Jake. You have succeeded, Mr. Lawson. This is a new beginning for our culinary exchanges. But be prepared, for the journey has just begun. The kitchen aboard the Endeavor buzzed with activity as Jake and his team prepared for the highly anticipated hot sauce tasting event. Stainless steel counters gleamed under the bright lights, and the air was thick with the rich aroma of roasted peppers and exotic spices. Jake, clad in his chef's jacket, moved with purpose, his mind racing with ideas. All right, team, Jake announced, gathering his colleagues around a large prep table. We need to create a range of hot sauces that showcase the intensity and diversity of Earth's spices. Let's start with mild and work our way up to the dragon's breath. His team consisted of four dedicated members. Maria, a meticulous sous chef from Mexico, Anil, a spice expert from India, Ling, a culinary technician from China, and Sam, a food safety officer from the United States. Each brought their unique expertise, making the team a well-oiled machine. Maria carefully selected a variety of peppers, laying them out in a vibrant array of reds, oranges, and yellows. We'll start with the jalapeos and work our way up to the Carolina Reapers, she said, her voice steady and focused. Anil nodded, adding, we should blend them with different base flavors to highlight their heat profiles. Lime, garlic, mango, let's make each sauce distinct. As they worked, Jake noticed the tension in the air. The stakes were high, and the pressure of the live broadcast added an extra layer of stress. But there was also excitement, a sense of purpose driving them forward. Ling, measuring precise amounts of vinegar and sugar, glanced at Jake. Do you think the Zotarians will be able to handle the heat? Jake shrugged, a small smile playing on his lips. We'll find out soon enough. But we need to make sure these sauces are not just hot, but flavorful. Sam, ensuring that each batch was safe for consumption, added, and we need to be mindful of their physiology. We don't want any adverse reactions. The team worked tirelessly, each member contributing their expertise. The kitchen filled with the sounds of chopping, blending, and simmering as they crafted the perfect sauces. As the hours passed, the tension transformed into a rhythmic flow of focused activity. The first sauce, a mild jalape, a blend with hints of lime and cilantro, was ready for testing. Jake dipped a spoon into the bright green mixture and tasted it, nodding in approval. This is perfect. Fresh, tangy, and just a hint of heat. Next came a medium heat sauce, combining habaneros with mango and garlic. The vibrant orange sauce had a sweet, fruity aroma that balanced its fiery kick. Anil tasted it and grinned. This one will definitely get their attention. Finally, it was time for the PCDR assistance, the dragon's breath. Maria and Anil carefully handled the Carolina Reapers, wearing gloves to protect themselves from the potent oils. The sauce was a deep, fiery red, with a complexity that promised both pain and pleasure. Jake tasted the dragon's breath, his eyes watering slightly. This is it. This will blow their minds. As they finished the preparations, a sense of accomplishment settled over the team. They had created something extraordinary, a testament to their skill and creativity. Just as they were about to clean up, the kitchen door slid open and Ambassador Exiler entered, accompanied by a stern-looking Zotarian scientist. Jake recognized him as Dr. Varnak, the leading authority on Zotarian physiology. Mr. Lawson, Zyler began, his tone serious. Dr. Varnak has some concerns about the safety of your hot sauces. Dr. Varnak stepped forward, his expression stern. Our physiology is different from yours. We have never been exposed to such intense flavors. There is a risk of adverse reactions. Jake took a deep breath, choosing his words carefully. I understand your concerns, Dr. Varnak. We have taken every precaution to ensure the safety of these sauces. Each one has been tested thoroughly. Varnak's eyes narrowed. Even so, the risk remains. I must insist on medical supervision during the tasting. Siler nodded in agreement. We cannot afford any mishaps, Mr. Lawson. The event will proceed, but under strict supervision. Jake nodded, feeling a mix of relief and apprehension. Of course. We'll ensure everything goes smoothly. As Siler and Varnak left, 
the tension in the kitchen spiked. The stakes had just been raised, and failure was not an option. Maria placed a reassuring hand on Jake's shoulder. We've got this, Jake. We'll show them the best of Earth's cuisine. The grand dining hall of Zotar was abuzz with anticipation. The hot sauce tasting event, now a galaxy-wide broadcast, had drawn a massive audience. Zotarians and visitors from various planets filled the hall, their excitement palpable. Jake Lawson stood by his team, watching as the final preparations were made. The tension in the air was thick, but so was the sense of impending triumph. Jake glanced at Ambassador Exeler, who was busy coordinating with the media personnel. Siler caught Jake's eye and gave a reassuring nod. Everything is in place, Mr. Lawson. This will be a memorable event. Jake smiled, but his thoughts were interrupted by the sudden commotion at the entrance of the hall. A group of Zotarians, holding signs and chanting slogans, stormed in. The signs bore messages like preserve our culture and no to human spices. Leading the protest was none other than Dr. Varnak. Zyler's expression darkened as he approached Varnak. Dr. Varnak, what is the meaning of this? Varnak's voice was firm. We are here to protest this event. Introducing such extreme flavors could disrupt our traditional culinary practices. Our culture is at stake. Jake stepped forward, trying to defuse the situation. Dr. Varnak, I assure you, this tasting is meant to be a cultural exchange, not an imposition. We respect your traditions and only wish to share ours. Varnak's eyes narrowed. And if our people react badly to these hot sauces, who will be responsible then? Before Jake could respond, Xyler intervened. Dr. Varnak, I understand your concerns, but this event has been approved by the High Council. Medical supervision is in place to ensure safety. Please, let us proceed without further disruption. The tension was palpable as Varnak and his followers reluctantly stepped aside. Jake felt a knot in his stomach. The success of the event was hanging by a thread. As the first sauces were brought out, Jake watched the Zotarian volunteers with a mix of hope and anxiety. The mild jalapeno sauce was the first to be tasted. The initial reactions were cautious but positive. Jake breathed a small sigh of relief. Next came the medium heat habanero sauce. The crowd's interest was piqued as the volunteers reacted with surprise at the intensity, yet they seemed to enjoy the flavor. The atmosphere in the hall began to shift, curiosity replacing skepticism. However, the real test was the dragon's breath. As the final sauce was presented, the room fell silent. Siler, once again demonstrating his bravery, volunteered to taste it. The entire hall held its breath as Exceller dipped a piece of bread into the fiery red sauce and took a bite. For a moment, Siler's expression was unreadable. Then, his eyes widened, and he let out a gasp. The tension in the room skyrocketed, but instead of distress, a smile spread across Siler's face. Incredible! Such intense flavor and heat. This is unlike anything we have ever experienced. The hall erupted in applause. Jake felt a surge of triumph. They had done it. The hot sauce had not only impressed, but had also begun to bridge the cultural gap. Just as Jake was about to relax, Dr. Varnak stepped forward again. This is not over, Lawson. You may have won over the crowd, but the long-term effects of such intense flavors on our physiology remain unknown. I will be monitoring this closely. Jake nodded, understanding the gravity of Varnak's words. I appreciate your vigilance, Dr. Varnak. We will work together to ensure that any further exchanges are safe and beneficial for both our cultures. The event continued with more tastings and discussions, but the undercurrent of tension remained. Jake knew that while they had made a significant breakthrough, the journey ahead would be filled with challenges. As the evening drew to a close, Xyler approached Jake, his demeanor serious but respectful. Mr. Lawson, today's event was a success, but we must tread carefully. Dr. Varnak's concerns are valid. We need to ensure that our future culinary exchanges are approached with caution and respect. Jake nodded, feeling the weight of responsibility. Agreed, Ambassador. We'll take every precaution necessary. This is just the beginning, and we have much to learn from each other. Siler's expression softened, indeed. But tonight, let's celebrate this first step towards greater understanding. 
The grand dining hall of Zogtar was illuminated with a soft, ethereal glow as the galaxy-wide broadcast began. Jake Lawson stood at the center of the bustling room, feeling a mix of anticipation and anxiety. The culmination of weeks of preparation had arrived, and the eyes of countless viewers across multiple star systems were on him. Remember, team, Jake said, turning to his dedicated group of chefs. This is our chance to show the galaxy the best of Earth's culinary creativity. Let's make it unforgettable. The first tray of sauces was brought out, each bowl gleaming under the lights. The initial tastings had gone well, but now it was time for the climax, the dragon's breath. Jake's heartbeat quickened as the Zogtarian volunteers approached the table, their expressions a blend of curiosity and caution. Ambassador Exiler stepped forward, his confidence evident despite the underlying tension. He picked up a piece of bread, dipped it into the deep red sauce, and paused. The entire hall seemed to hold its breath as Xyler brought the bread to his lips. The initial reaction was intense. Xyler's eyes widened and his face flushed a deep crimson. For a moment, Jake feared the worst, but then Exiler broke into a broad smile. Exquisite! Such a bold and vibrant flavor. This truly is a new frontier for us. The hall erupted in applause, and Jake felt a wave of relief. The most intense hurdle had been overcome. Yet, even as the crowd celebrated, Dr. Varnak's warning echoed in his mind. The long-term effects were still unknown, and there was more work to be done. As the event continued, Jake noticed a figure moving through the crowd with purpose. Dr. Varnak approached, his expression unreadable. Mr. Lawson, may I have a word? Jake nodded, leading Varnak to a quieter corner of the hall. What is it, Dr. Varnak? Varnak's tone was measured. While tonight has been a success, I remain concerned about the physiological impacts of these intense flavors on our people. We must conduct thorough studies to understand the implications fully. Jake appreciated the scientist's caution. I understand, Dr. Varnak. We can collaborate on research to ensure that any future culinary exchanges are safe and beneficial. This is just the beginning. Varnak's stern expression softened slightly. Agreed. We must proceed with caution. But tonight, you have opened a door that was long closed. Their conversation was interrupted by the sound of excited chatter. The crowd had gathered around Eiler, who was now engaged in animated discussions with other dignitaries. Jake couldn't help but feel a sense of accomplishment. Despite the challenges, they had succeeded in creating a bridge between their worlds through the universal language of food. As the event drew to a close, Axler approached Jake, his eyes sparkling with excitement. Mr. Lawson, I must commend you and your team. Tonight has been a revelation. I propose we continue this culinary exchange, perhaps even hosting a joint festival in the future. Jake's heart soared at the prospect. That sounds incredible, Ambassador. We'd be honored to participate. Siler's expression turned serious. However, we must also address the concerns raised by Dr. Varnick. A joint research initiative would be prudent to ensure the safety and sustainability of our exchanges. Jake nodded. Absolutely. As the night wound down, the hall began to empty. Jake's team gathered around him, their faces reflecting a mixture of exhaustion and pride. Maria. Anil, Ling, and Sam had all played crucial roles in the night's success, and Jake couldn't have asked for a better group. You all did an amazing job, Jake said, his voice filled with gratitude. Tonight wouldn't have been possible without each of you. Maria smiled. It was a team effort, Jake. We did this together, Anil added, and we made history. The first interstellar hot sauce tasting event. Who would have thought? Ling nodded. Now we just have to keep the momentum going and ensure that our future exchanges are just as successful. Sam, ever the pragmatist, said, and we'll need to stay vigilant about the safety protocols. We can't afford any missteps. Jake looked at his team, feeling a deep sense of camaraderie. Agreed. But tonight, let's celebrate what we've accomplished. Tomorrow, we start planning the next steps, 